Hey everyone, I'm James from Central InfoSec, and I'm going to show you an advanced tiling terminal emulator that makes working from the command line easier and will make you more efficient. We're talking about Tilix. You can head over to the Central InfoSec blog where you can copy and paste the commands that we'll be running today. Our setup script will set a dark theme with a background color of black and foreground color or text color of green. Tabs are used for sessions. Session tabs are positioned on the bottom. The title style is set to small to save space. The terminal title will show when there's a single terminal window. Other windows are not allowed on top of Quake mode. Text is copied on select and we provide some custom scripts. First, clone the GitHub repository. Next, you want to make the setup script executable. Now we're going to run the setup script. This may take a couple minutes to install, but we're not speeding up the video to show you in real time how long it took for us. For us, this was fairly quick, and this included an apt update. Once installed, it will open a terminal window. You can close out of this because we want to set the shortcut to Tilix. So next time when you click the button up here, it'll open Tilix. If you scroll down, you can see some of our custom shortcuts and commands. If you type TT, this will change Tilix transparency. It will toggle between 0 and 25% transparent. You can also provide a number afterwards. We're going to run the TH command, and this is Tilix help. This will show you the features of our script, along with some of our keyboard shortcuts. You can press Alt-Q to open Quake mode. This is going to drop down from the top of the screen and show over all your other windows. Alt-Q makes the window go away. If we run TS for Tillich size, it will toggle between 30 and 70%. You can also type TT for transparency. You can also type a number to set the size to 100%. We're going to close out of Quake and press Alt-T to open a new window. Alt-Z will show the keyboard shortcuts. Here we have the application shortcuts. Alt-W opens a new window. Alt-S opens a new session. Alt-Z will show the keyboard shortcuts. We're going to run through some of these shortcuts later, but you can also switch and look at the session shortcuts. Here you can see how to close, save, and open saved sessions. And there's also a second page. This shows you how to switch between the terminals, but don't worry, we'll run through these commands together here in a bit. You can also look at the terminal shortcuts. You can find text, you can copy and paste from the clipboard, zoom in, change the navigation. There's also a second page here to show how to save the terminal contents, close, maximize, reset the layout. Now let's take a look at some of the session keyboard shortcuts. You can add a new session with Alt S. 
You can see the new tab at the bottom right. You can click between the sessions. You can also double click to change the name. We're going to call it session two. But you can also use Alt R for rename. We're going to open a new session and call it session three. Notice we did all of this from the keyboard. Now you can switch to the left session with Alt J and Alt K for the right session. So your fingers never leave the home row. Here you can see we're swapping between the sessions. Here's session one. Now we're swapping back to session two and three. Notice how quick this is and your fingers never leave the home row. You can move the session to the left with shift alt J or to the right with shift alt K. Notice you can manually click and drag the sessions to rearrange the order or you can use the keyboard shortcut. You can press Alt F to full screen a session. Then you can press Alt F again. This will take you back to the standard size. Now, before we save the current session, we're going to add more terminal windows. You can click the buttons up here to add terminal windows to the right or add windows down. You can drag and drop to rearrange the terminal windows. We can save the current session with control Alt S for save. Here we're just going to call it session three. We're going to close out of session three and session two. Now to open a save session, control Alt O for open. This allows us to load a saved session. Now you could also exit the current session with control alt E for exit. You could click the X's. You could type exit or use the keyboard shortcut control alt E. Notice how much quicker that was than clicking a bunch of X's or typing exit. Now let's look at the terminal keyboard shortcuts. Alt N will add a new terminal to the right. You could click the button up here or Alt N, N for new terminal. You could click the button to add a terminal to the bottom or down Alt D will add a new terminal down. Notice how quick and easily it is to create a bunch of terminal windows. You can rename a terminal window with Shift Alt R for rename. You could click the button to open a new terminal window, but we're not going to give it a new title. We're just going to keep the ID. You can shift to the left terminal or right terminal with H and U. Alt H shifts to the left and Alt U shifts back to the right. Notice how this keeps your hands in a natural position on the keyboard and how quickly you can change between terminal windows. You can also switch to terminals by direction. Alt up, down, left, and right. Notice here we can shift up and then to the left. 
We can shift back to the right and then down. You can also switch using numbers. So we're going to switch to terminal 1 from terminal 3. Now we're in terminal 1. Now we're back in terminal 3. You can manually resize the terminal windows by dragging and dropping. Or you can use the keyboard shortcuts. Shift, Alt, Up, Down, Left, and Right. Shift, Alt, Up is going to resize this up. Shift, Alt, Left will resize it to the left. You can zoom in with control equal sign or out with control minus. Here we can zoom in and zoom out. If you zoom in or out too much, you can press control zero. This will zoom to normal. You can click this arrow to maximize the terminal. You can also use the keyboard shortcut Alt-M for maximize. Now let's run some commands to add text to the terminal. You can click the scroll bar to scroll up and down, or you can use the keyboard shortcut Shift Up and Shift Down. Notice this scrolls slowly. You may want to scroll quickly up or down. You could use the page up, Shift Page Up or Shift Page Down. This will allow you to scroll up and down quickly. You can click the magnifying glass to search for text. We ran a command, who am I? You could also use the keyboard shortcut for this. Control F for find text. You can also find next and find previous. Control F for find and we can search for the same command. You can copy text with Alt-C. You can also use Alt-V to paste text. But text is already copied on select. We're going to select this file name and press Alt-V to paste the file name. Now we're going to save the terminal contents to a file. Press Control S or Save. We're in Session 1, Terminal 2. We're just going to call it Session 1. We're going to add .txt so it's easier to open the file. Here you can see all of the terminal contents were saved to the file. Earlier we used a keyboard shortcut to look at the keyboard shortcuts. But you can also navigate up here to view the keyboard shortcuts. We're also going to take a look at the preferences. Under the global preferences, you have the behavior and the clipboard. Under appearance, you can change the appearance of the terminal. 
You can change the theme or set a background image. Here are the Quake settings. You can also add bookmarks. These are the shortcut keys. This is where you can change the keys. You can look at the encoding, advanced options. You can also see we're using the default profile that you could delete or clone. And you could also add a new profile. Now let's close out of the terminal window. Let's take a look at Quake. Alt-Q opens Quake. TS for Tillich Size 80 fills up 80% of the screen, so you can still click around in the browser behind the Tillich's Quake window without having to switch back and forth between the windows. Remember, you can add a new session with Alt-S for Session and Alt-R to rename the session. You can add more sessions and rename these too. You can switch left and right between the sessions with Alt-J and Alt-K. You can drag and drop the sessions. You can open more terminal windows. and you can drag and drop to reorganize. All of these keyboard shortcuts that we were running before in the standalone terminal window will work in Quake. You can maximize a terminal window with Alt-M for maximize. You can drag and drop to change the position. You could close out of all the sessions and terminal windows. But remember with Quake mode, you could just press Alt-Q. So we open these sessions and terminal windows and Alt-Q, we can close Quake mode. You can do something else in other windows and Alt-Q will open Quake mode back up. This helps avoid having to click around and switch between different windows. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope it makes working from the command line easier and makes you more efficient.